Yo, what up, what up everyone? Mike Hill, the Wholesaling Titan here. And in today's video, I want to show you seven steps to do a wholesale deal with no money. Now, uh, this is a really, really simple exercise that I give to all members of my online training platform that's Wholesaling with Mike University. And when I say simple, I mean these steps are really so simple that they're oftentimes overlooked. I mean, sometimes people tend to really just overcomplicate this business. Um, now, before I give you those steps, a quick reminder, I'm still doing free weekly one-on-one -on -one calls to show you how to do your first or next deal as fast as possible. So if you need some help with this, remember, you know, I started this business back in 2012 with no money. I uh, literally did my first deal with zero dollars down. Um, I've probably been through just about every obstacle in this business, and in like less than an hour, I can give you some real tangible, actionable items to save you like six months of spinning your wheels. And, you know, you'll give me some ideas for new videos. Uh, spaces are limited. There are only a few of these spots each week. So be sure to just click that link in the description to learn more and, uh, you know, reserve your spot. So now let's go ahead and jump right into this. Step one, very, very simple. I want you to go to Gmail and create a brand new email address that's going to be used for this exercise only. Step two, I want you to find all wholesalers in your market. So that means... Very simple. Go to Google and search terms like wholesale deals in the name of your market. So you can search discounted properties, wholesale deals, cheap properties in Orange County, Florida. And then I want you to go to Craigslist and do the same thing. Be creative. Um, use keywords to find wholesalers that are advertising deals. So a good example, um, you know, if you use the words cash or hard money, put those in quotations, that's almost always going to be a wholesaler. And then you can do the same thing on Zillow. Just kind of Rinse and repeat. Go to Facebook, find real estate investment groups in your market, and do the same thing. And just find all the wholesalers who are advertising deals. Now, step three, I want you to go to these wholesalers' websites. And once you're on their site, you're going to find a capture box where you can enter your email information to join their email list and receive their deal blast. So essentially, you are joining these lists as if you were a cash buyer. And then obviously, you want to use the email address that I had you create in step one to do this. And then soon, after some time, you're going to have an inbox with all of the wholesale deals in your area. It's a convenient spot to see them all. I'm going to show you how to do deals with this information in just a second, but there's also a secondary benefit to doing this that I want to mention, and that is Intel. Now, Intel is crucial. You want to know what cash buyers are buying and how much they're willing to pay for it. Uh, it's something I tell all of my students. Know what your market wants. You know, you could be the best chef in the world, cooking the highest quality best seasoned steaks, but if you're trying to sell them in a vegan restaurant, not going to work out for you. And then you want to go ahead and uh, make it a daily practice to scroll through this inbox. See what deals show up and are gone in like a day or two. Take notes on the asking prices and what those properties are selling for. Now, I've got a lot of different hacks for figuring this stuff out, but this is a really good way to see what buyers are actually paying, especially in situations where, you know, you can't find good comps in an area, or maybe you want to hyper focus on a specific area, or maybe inventory is tight, or, you know, it's a really high demand area and buyers are even overpaying. That way you aren't simply relying on a formula, like, you know, the whole ARV times 70% minus repairs minus profit, which may be somewhat arbitrary and not always applicable at times. Um, likewise, you're on the flip side of that, like you're going to start seeing some deals that are just coming back. They keep get, getting blasted out week after week, maybe with several price reductions, which can be indicative that it isn't such a hot area or the price is just too high. And in those situations, you know, take note of those properties as well. And then if it's been a while, a couple weeks go by and you see those properties aren't advertised anymore, you can assume maybe the deal didn't sell and reach out to that homeowner. You've taken the notes on the address and make an offer. Now, obviously, this isn't 100%. Nothing's business is. And you kind of have to take this on a case-by-case -case basis. But a couple things you do know. You do know that another wholesaler reached out to the owner. You know that they were open to selling, ideally at a discount. And it's likely that the deal fell through. Maybe because the price was too high. And granted, while some sellers might have a bad taste in their mouth from the cancellation from the other wholesaler, they may not want to entertain an offer, or maybe they may want more strict terms like no inspection period, you will find some of those people who are motivated and they might come to the realization that the offer price was too high. And you'll already have an idea of what the other wholesaler probably offered, probably like 10, 20K lower than their asking price on the email. And uh, now that that offer didn't go through, the homeowner may be open to accepting a lower price. So that's kind of the intel piece that I was referring to. 
So let's get to step four. Um, you're you're going to still be going about your daily prospecting, but you also want to be carving out time to build your buyers list, right? I got a bunch of videos on this. You can be uh, advertising properties that you have, putting out band designs for buyers, putting out ghost ads, social media posts, joining and being active in Facebook groups, you know, on Facebook, using online ads, stuff like that. So go watch some videos on that. I'll, I'll put some links uh, either in the video or in the description. Um, but soon you're going to have buyers that start reaching out to you, right? So when a buyer reaches out to you, the first thing you want to do is qualify them. And this is really mutually beneficial. Like you want to know how you can best serve them, what they're looking for. Uh, but you also want to know that they're serious, that they're not a tire kicker. And I can usually tell pretty quickly if a cash buyer is legit or not. Like a lot of times I talk to wholesalers posing as cash buyers. And that's fine, by the way. I uh, just let them know, you know, I can't give them a contract, but we can JV on deals. But anyway, you want to ask somewhat invasive questions. Like what are you looking for? How do you fund your deals? What's your budget? And I know it can seem maybe even a little obnoxious, but real cash buyers are going to actually appreciate you doing this. And you kind of want to get to a point where you say like, Okay, John, you told me you wanted a concrete block, single family house in 12345 zip code, east of I-95 with three bedrooms, light rehab, no more than 20K, and your budget $200,000. Now, John, if I can get that for you, can you sign a purchase agreement, send me a, send a non-refundable $10,000 earnest money deposit to the title company within 48 hours and close within two weeks? And if they say yes, you know you have a serious buyer. So then step five, once you have that buyer, you simply open up that email inbox and just scroll through all the other wholesalers deals and see if you find a property that matches that criteria. And then step six, call up that wholesaler who has the property and just simple, hey bro, you still got that property at 123 Main Street. I got a cash buyer ready, willing, and able to sign a purchase agreement today. Would you be down to JV? And then step seven, um, you know, you want to make sure you send them a JV agreement. Always, always, always get everything in writing and then be the liaison between your buyer and the other wholesaler. And it's literally that simple. Again, don't try to overcomplicate this stuff. This is literally exactly how I did my first deal. I've had many, many students who have done their first deals the exact same way. Uh, again, this just goes back to my personal emphasis. I'm going to tell you guys this time and time again on relationship building. This stuff costs you nothing. You just have to make it a daily habit to actually look at this stuff. And I can probably imagine, you know, someone sending me a message or leaving a comment saying, you know, I tried this, it doesn't work, or I talked to a wholesaler and they don't want to work with me. And yes, that can happen. Not everyone's going to say yes, but that doesn't mean you stop. The, the unique business model here, you can have 99 no's out of 100 offers or offers to JV, and if you get just one yes, it's 100% worth it. So I guess I really want to stress that, again, this is not a hack, something secrets, pretty simple, and that's kind of the point here, right? I'm not saying to do this exclusively or that this should be the foundation of your business, but I am saying do not overcomplicate this stuff. You can absolutely thrive in this business by simply being a matchmaker and bringing the right people together. So that's just one uh, simple technique. It works exceptionally well if you're new to the business and or you have a limited budget. I want to encourage everyone here to always be looking to expand your network. You just never know where your next lead, deal, buyer you know, will come from. And on that note, be sure to join my free Facebook group. There's a link in the description where you can contact me. Plug into my network, ask questions, meet other like-minded wholesalers. I'm answering all your questions personally there. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really, really means the world to me. And let me know, what would you like to see me talk about in the next video? Like, how can I help you in your wholesaling business? What point are you at? What questions, suggestions, comments do you guys have? Please let me know down in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.